coffee friends, my name is Tom from Tom's Coffee Corner. Today we're going to take a look at the La Specialista Arte model from DeLonghi. This is the EC9155. It is the most economical of DeLonghi's offerings, which includes the integrated grinder. And today we are going to do an espresso, a lungo, an Americano, a long black, cappuccino, and a latte macchiato. So let's get started. And one thing I always like to do is make sure to use a scale with 10th of grams. And it's also nice to have a timer, but the most important thing is to get a scale with 10th of grams. Espresso. Let's tear it out. I've got my espresso grinder set at two. I'm going to try to operate the machine backwards today. Let's see how long I can do that. Okay, 13 grams, we need a little more than that. 16.0. That is a good dose for this basket, so that's what I'm going to go with. Let's go ahead and declump and stir that espresso just a little bit with this WDT tool. Looking good. So in case you're wondering, by the way, I did get this porta filter from Amazon. I'll include a link to it in the description box down below so you can check it out. And I am using a different basket as well. This is the IMS basket and it has way more holes than does the original basket. And you can see the original one is tapered. So this one you do need a finer grind for. And here we go. Stop it right there at 30 grams. That's a nice looking espresso right there. Super, super creamy. A lot of crema on there. That looks delicious. All right, let's move on to the Lungo. There is one advantage and disadvantage to this machine. Do you see how the machine is still dripping here? That's because there is no three-way valve. I see that as an advantage because although you do have to wait a little bit longer to remove the porta filter, when you do, the pucks knock out so satisfyingly as just one puck, it's perfect. Ooh, see that? Perfect. Lungo. A lungo is basically in the same process as an espresso, but it is a longer espresso. So if you're looking to get a one to two ratio with espresso, like 15 grams in and 30 out, what we're gonna try with the lungo is to do 15 or 16 in, and we're gonna try to get 45 out. 14.5. 16.0. And here we go. grams. Now we've got a delicious espresso and a very delicious looking lungo with a nice crema on top as well. Let's move on to the more watery drinks. Let's do an Americano. Look at that puck right there. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and make an Americano. 16.1 grams. Now for an Americano, it's espresso first and then water. So let's switch to Americano on here. All right, for the Americano, make sure that you get your cup underneath the little water spout down there. And let's just hit OK. I'm going to stop it right there. All right, that looks tall enough for me. I'm gonna stop that Americano right there. Perfect. All right, guys, so now we have got an espresso, a lungo, and an Americano. Next, let's do the long black. Ah! 
All right, so what's kind of interesting about the DeLonghi La Specialista is that in some markets, apparently they make it with an Americano and in other markets, they make it with a long black which I saw on Coffee Kev's channel. So we actually have to trick the machine a little bit to make a long black. We're first going to let out some water. All right, that looks long enough to me. Now we'll switch to espresso mode. And here comes our espresso on top. Can't believe I haven't spilled anything yet. So now we've got espresso, lungo, americano, long black. The advantage of the long black is that you get more crema on top. Mm. I like it. Cappuccino. Now it's time to move on to the milk drinks. So let's start with the cappuccino. All right guys, so with the cappuccino, we're also looking to get a nice espresso shot with some foam milk on top. And I'm gonna go for that two to one ratio. So I've got the scale teared out, let's go. All right, there we go, 30 grams. And now let's go ahead and steam our milk. This is a 400 milliliter pitcher, which means that the maximum amount you can fit in here is 400 milliliters. But we're gonna fill it about halfway. Just about up to here. I've got a whole video dedicated to milk steaming. So just take a look at that. I'll link it up here or up there. All right, and there's our cappuccino. Let's move on to the very last drink, the latte macchiato. Latte macchiato. For that, we're going to use the reverse process. We're gonna steam milk first, and then we're gonna pour an espresso shot on top of that. A lot of milk steaming has to do with just holding that pitcher just right. You gotta find the right angle to get the milk to swirl around. And once it's swirling, you're pretty much golden. You gotta hold it in place really well, you know? This would have made better latte art, this one. Okay, that's plenty hot. Okay. And part of the reason that you pour the milk into the glass first for the latte macchiato is you wanna let the milk settle so that when you put the espresso on top, it forms a nice mark on top. That's what macchiato means in Italian, is a little mark. Okay, there we got our two to one ratio. And now it's time to pour our espresso in. This here is one of my favorite drinks in the afternoon. So you can see the mark of espresso on top. That's a latte macchiato. Okay, okay. Okay guys, so what did we do today? We made an espresso, a lungo, an americano, a long black, a cappuccino, and a latte macchiato. And the reason that I wanted to show you guys all of these recipes today is because I've noticed a lot of people are starting off with this machine for the first time. This is their first experience with espresso. And so I hope that this video helps you to make all these different drinks. If so, please give the video a like to push it up and check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. 
At this point in the video, I would like to say thank you very much to my patrons. And if you would like to support the channel as well, you can take a look in the description box down below. I will also put a link in there for this bottomless porta filter and for a couple of other accessories as well. Until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.